Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at who is the best new ghost type Pokemon in Sun and Moon across all of the new Pokemon released. I have done a couple other videos in this series going over the best water, fire and grass and many other types, so if you are enjoying the series then I do recommend you check out those videos. But today, like I said, we're looking at the ghost type Pokemon. Now I'm not going to be going over any legendaries or ultra beasts that may have a ghost typing just because they're stronger in general and I'm also not going to be going over any old Pokemon that have the ghost typing that appear in Alola such as Gengar because we know we're only concentrating on the new Pokemon. But that being said I will be going over the stats, uh, whether they have a dual typing, the abilities, the move pool, what they're strong and weak against just to try and create a better idea of who is the best new ghost type Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So with introductions out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope you enjoy. Okay, so first up we have um, Decidui, um, who is obviously the evolution of the Grass Starter in Pokemon Sun and Moon Rowlet. Uh, it's a dual typing of Grass and Ghost with the abilities Overgrow and Long Reach. Um, we all, we all know what Overgrow does already, it's just what every Grass Starter Pokemon has. But Long Reach uh, basically means that the, the, um, the Pokemon uses its moves without making, co making contact with the Pokemon. Uh, well, with the target, so basically every attack is like a special attack in the sense that you're not actually touching the Pokemon. So, you know, Flame Body and stuff isn't going to affect Decidueye, which is kind of handy um, because obviously it is a predominantly physically attacking Pokemon. Even though its special attack is quite high, you will be running mostly physical attacks on this Pokemon, so not being able to get burnt through Flame Body and stuff is actually quite nice. But uh, being a dual typing of Grass and Ghost has its strengths and weaknesses. It is immune to normal and fighting, um, also resists water, electric, grass, and ground. However, it is weak to fire, ice, flying, ghost, and dark. So, um, you know, Sucker Punches and Shadow Sneaks, priority moves like that are really going to be annoying for this Pokemon. Um, Decidueye does have a stat total of 530, uh, 78 of uh, HP of 78, 107 physical attack, 75 physical defense, 100 special attack, 100 special defense, and 70 speed. So, um, you know, it is the fastest starter Pokemon, which just shows how slow the, the Pokemon are in this generation. But, um, you know, 70 speed is, is still not that fast, in all fairness, but, you know, faster than the other two starter Pokemon. Um, has nice bulk in its special defense, however its physical defense isn't the best. 75 is still, you know, admirable, it's not bad, but um, it's just, you know, it's not as good as its special defense. It is obviously a physical attacking Pokemon with 107 physical attack, but with 100 special attack as well, it can be a special attacking Pokemon too. So, uh, you know, mixed attacker is definitely nothing new to Decidueye. It does obviously evolve at level 34 from Dartrix, but let's go over the moves that this Pokemon learns. It does get U-Turn, um, which is very nice, Switch Initiative. Uh, obviously it's a uh, signature move, because all the Star Pokemon do get signature moves, is Spirit Shackle, which basically means that the other Pokemon can't um, escape, so you can use that really to your advantage and be able to set up everything over you know something that can't touch you, which is very, very nice. Uh, it does get Synthesis, which is Reliable Recovery, it gets Sucker Punch, uh, Leaf Blade, so you know all these hard-hitting moves uh, on the physical side of things. Also it gets Brave Bird and Nasty Plot if you want to um, do a special, uh, special Decidueye. Egg moves that it gets are quite nice as well. It gets Baton Pass if you want to you know pass on something. It gets Ominous Wind, it gets Defog, which is nice, because obviously um, that gets rid of Hazards, and because Decidueye, Decidueye loses its Flying Typing, once it evolves from Dartrix, um, it won't be taking 25% damage from Stealth Rock, so it will be quite a nice hazard remover if you go for like a bulky Decidueye. The TM moves that this Pokemon learns are, you know, Solar Beam, Smackdown, Shadow Ball, which is nice, gets Low Sweep, Steel Wing, Energy Ball, False Wipe, Shiny Hunting, uh, Swords Dance, U-Turn again through TM, uh, and Grass Knot and stuff like that. Obviously gets its own Z move as well, which is very nice, but um, yeah, Decidueye, a very good Pokemon in general. Um, I mean, the typing is, you know, the typing is quite nice, it is only weak to um, five typing, so that's quite nice, because Grass is usually... Grass is a typing that's kind of looked down upon in this uh, competitive scene, so to get an alright grass type Pokemon is actually quite nice. Uh, and yeah, it's a breath of fresh air for this typing. But you know, I'm a big fan of Decidueye, uh, and yeah, he's a he's a pretty pretty cool Pokemon. Anyway, next we have Ori Corio, um, the Sensu style, who is Ghost and Flying with the ability Dancer. Uh, obviously, Dancer it means that when a Pokemon uses a Dance type move, um, Ori Corio copies it, and you know, so if something sets up a Quiver Dance or something, Ori Corio gets up a Quiver Dance for free, which is very very nice. So if you can switch onto something that you think is going to set up. That's really beneficial for this Pokemon. Um, it is obviously uh, one of four different Oricorios, which in Sun and Moon, uh, the others being Fire, Thunder, and um, Psychic types, as well as being Flying types. Uh, has a stat total of 476, like the other four birds, uh, three birds as well. 75 HP, 70 physical attack, 70 physical defense, 98 special attack, 70 special defense, and 93 speed. Uh, being a ghost and flying dual typing, it is, um, uh, is immune to normal fighting and ground. So three immunities are really, really good. Um, it is also a resistant to bug four times, uh, also resists grass and poison. However, it is weak to electric, ice, rock, ghost, and dark. So, you know, some quite nice um, resistances there. And three immunities is always really, really clutch for this Pokemon. But um, it does have the same stat total as the other birds as well, uh, as well as the same ability. But um, it doesn't get like, uh, it does, well, the thing that annoys me that Oricorio line is the fact that 
they don't get any uh, they don't really get many um, attacks um, for their other typing so they get many like they get quite a few flying type attacks for stab and stuff with that but their other typing such as like fire electric or flying and psychic uh, the psychic and ghost they don't get any stab moves for that so that's a really big letdown for this Pokemon because it could have been really good like they do obviously get their, their um, revelation dance move but that's only one stab type move it's not the best although it does hit quite hard it is a nice attack attacking move but uh, you know it, it's not it's not the best like it would have been like this Pokemon would have really benefited uh, benefited from like shadow ball and, and stuff like that but um, it has to have revelation dance. Obviously, it does get um, dancing type moves, such as Tita dance and, and, and feather dance and stuff like that. But yeah, this Pokemon gets some pretty nice egg moves anyway. It gets like captivate, pluck, safeguard, tailwind, which is quite nice in VGC. Um, the TMs that this Pokemon uh, learns are Roost, uh, which is nice, reliable recovery. Gets like Aerial Ace, gets Steel Wing, Acrobatic, Swords Dance, which is really cool. Also gets U Turn for Switch Initiative as well. So. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm an alright, pretty, I'm a pretty good fan of this Pokemon. It's just like the, the lack of uh, stab for the other typing is, is a bit annoying, but obviously it's got a really good ability in Dancer. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I quite like Oricorio. Anyway, next we have Alolan Marowak, who is a dual typing of Fire and Ghost with the abilities Cursed Body, Lightning Rod, and Rockhead. Uh, Lightning Rod, obviously. Um, it takes special attack and raises your special attack by one stage and Rockhead obviously stops recoil from recoil type moves such as Flare Blitz and, and, and Head Smash and stuff like that. Um, this stat total of Alola Marowak is quite poor, but uh, obviously having a thick club on this Pokemon, you know, doubles its attack, so that's kind of, you know, ridiculous. It does have 60 HP, 80 physical attack, which will obviously get doubled when you uh, hold a thick club. 110 physical defense, 50 special attack, 80 special defense, and 45 speed. Um, being fire and ghost, it's weak to water, ground, rock, and ghost, and dark, whereas this uh, immune to normal and fighting, um, also resists fire, grass, ice, poison, four times resist bug, resists steel, and also resists fury. So really cool typing there actually, and um, yeah, especially with the thick club, this Pokemon's an absolute unit. Uh, big threat in the competitive scene. Uh, I've been seeing it used a lot in the competitive scene, and it evolves at level 28 from Cubone at night time in Alola. Uh, the moves that this Pokemon learns through level up, uh, really really cool as well. Get Shadow Bone, which is a really nice um, stab move. Uh, gets Stomping Tantrum as well. Gets Flare Blitz, uh, which obviously uh, you don't get any recoil with you running Rockhead. Uh, also gets Bone Club, uh, and also gets Will O Wisp uh, and Boomerang, and also gets Will O Wisp if uh, you want to cripple some things. So that's really cool. Gets some really cool egg moves as well. Uh, gets Belly Drum, so if you can somehow pull that off with like a Trick Room team or something, you'd be you'd be like laughing with Thick Club. It'd be ridiculous. Uh, also gets. Um, Iron Head as well gets Perish Song, which is you know I wasn't expecting this Pokemon to get, but hey, it could be used in a quite a nice way. Um, gets a big handful of TM moves as well. Gets Ice Beam, Blizzard, Thunderbolt, Smackdown, Thunder, Earthquake, which is really cool. Gets Shadow Ball, Brick Break, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, both Stab, Flame Charge, Echo Blast, Focus Blast, False Swipe, Shiny Hunting, Willow again, Gets Sword Dance, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, and Dark Pulse. And you know, Alola Marowak is a very very good Pokemon. Uh, I didn't cover it properly in the Fire Type video because obviously we have already gone over it, but. Um, you know, this is a very good Pokemon. I, I missed out the, the fact that it had when it holds a thick club, its attack is doubled. So that actually makes this Pokemon a huge threat in the competitive scene. But um, yeah, that is Alolan Marowak. Okay, so next we have Palisand, who is a dual typing of Ghost and Ground, who is uh, yeah, it's just a big sandcastle. You know what I mean? When I first saw this Pokemon uh, released, I was like, oh, it's a it's a giant, giant sandcastle. Um, hey, let's let's see what this thing's got going for it. But um, it does have the ability Sandville and Water Compaction. Uh, Water Compaction is the ability that's unique to Palisand's evolution line, and it basically raises the bearer's defense by two stages when it's hit by a water type move. So um, that's kind of broken, you know what I mean? <laughs> Palisand is really good in that uh, respect. And obviously, it has Zanville as well as its hidden ability, which. Um, it raises the ability uh, bearers evasion by 20% in a sandstorm, but obviously we're going to be running a uh, water compaction on this thing uh, just because that's so, uh, you know, really, really broken. <laughs> um, being a dual typing of Ghost and Ground means that it is immune to normal, electric, and fighting, so three immunities there. Also, quad resist poison, also resist bug and rock. So it, it, it is weak to water, grass, ice, ghost, and dark, though. Uh, it does have a stat total of 480, which is quite a nice stat total. has 85 HP, 75 physical attack, 110 physical defense, 100 special attack, 75 special defense, and 35 speed so a very very sli uh, slow pokemon but um it's a, a pretty good uh, bulky wall and then especially if you can get a water compaction off you're going to be taking those physical hits for you know for days you know you're going to be eating those up as well as the water but um it does evolve from a sandy guest at level 42 
Um, the moves this Pokemon learns through level up are quite nice. It gets like Mega Drain, Bulldoze, Hypnosis, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Earth Power, uh, Shore Up as well. Shore Up, I believe, is a, a, a really a new move in this uh, generation. And it, the user regains up to half of its max HP. Uh, it restores more HP in a, a Sandstorm. So, um, you know, that's really cool. Reliable recovery there, um, especially with, with how it's a bulky Pokemon. That's really nice. Also gets Amnesia, Ancient Power, Destiny Bond, Spit Up, Stockpile, Swallow. Um, so a couple of all right egg moves there. Uh, the TMs that this Pokemon gets are Earthquake, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, uh, Energy Ball, Rock Polish, Stone Edge, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, Infestation, which could be quite nice. Um, Rock Polish, uh, I, I can't see happening too much on this Pokemon just because it's already so slow. I mean, it's so slow. It's only got a stat total of 35, so that's kind of poor. But um, obviously, this is meant to be a bulky Pokemon. Um, I would really like it if this Pokemon got Stealth Rocks. That would be really, really cool, but um, I don't think it does. So that's kind of annoying, but Stealth Rocks would have been really, really nice on this Pokemon. Does get Iron Defense as well though, uh, if you want to boost those defenses up anymore. But no, um, Palisand is a, a very good Pokemon. Like I say, very a very bulky Pokemon, um, and its ability is really really nice as well. Um, and you know, yeah, it's got quite good typing, having three immunities as well, uh, and then resisting three types as well, whilst only being uh, weak to five. Yeah, five types is quite a lot, but when you're immune to three and you know you resist another three, that's really nice. Um, so this Pokemon can be used quite nicely in the competitive scene. But uh, that is Palisand. Next we have um, a Mimikyu, who is a dual typing of Ghost and Fairy, who is an absolute monster because of its ability Disguise, which um, basically act, acts as a substitute. Obviously, it can still get burnt and stuff and, and poisoned, but um, it, it takes the damage from a hit. Um, so basically, lets you allows you to you know set up uh, for a free really set up a, a free you know boost and and whatever. And if you run a Focus Sash on this thing, I think you can even sell too. But um, being a Ghost and Fairy, it is immune to Normal Fighting and Dragon and it quad resist bug as well whereas it is only weak to ghost and steel its stat total is 476 being 55 hp 90 physical attack 80 physical defense um 50 special attack 105 special defense and 96 speed but like i say you can get a free setup move off which uh, really just you know makes this pokemon a big much more of a threat um in the competitive scene and it does get quite a few nice um uh, settle moves as well, so uh, like you can really run a couple of different sets on this Pokemon. But it does get uh, moves such as Wood Hammer, get Shadow Sneak, which is some nice stab priority. Uh, get Slash, get Shadow Claw, get Home Claws, which is obviously a settle move. Gets Play Rough as well, so big hitting moves are really really cool. Egg moves it does get like Destiny Bond, Grudge Nightmare, and Curse all um, could be quite useful in the competitive scene. Gets Work Up, uh, Bull Cub, more settle moves. Um, uh, gets Thunderbolt, Thunder gets Leech Life for recovery, that's really nice. Psychic, Shadow Ball, uh, gets Rest, obviously, but everything gets Rest. Gets Will-O-Wisp if you want to cripple something, gets Shadow Claw, gets Thunder Wave for crippling things, gets Sword Stance, another Cell move, uh, X Scissor, um, Substitute, like if you could set up a sub on, you know, you're, you're already disguised. So, I mean, there's just so many things you can do with this Pokemon. Also gets Dark Pulse and Dazzling Gleam. And Mimikyu is just a huge threat in the competitive scene, like just the fact that its ability is so good. And it's got a stat total of 476. You know, it's already a fast Pokemon that can hit hard on the physical side of things with a really good special defense as well. And it's bulky with 80 physical defense um, as well. It's obviously a stat total of 55 and HP isn't the best, but you know, you, you can you can do things with that. You can you can deal you can deal with that. You can work around that. Just set up the, with this thing and you know, you'll be laughing. You know what I mean? You'll be having a great time with Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Anyway, last but not least, we have Delmise, or I think it's Delmise actually, uh, who is another dual typing of Ghost and Grass, just like um, Decidueye, with the ability Steel Worker. And Steel Worker basically just powers up Steel type moves, and this Pokemon does get access to quite a few Steel type moves, which is really nice. Being Ghost and Grass, though, it is immune to normal and fighting, whereas it resists water, electric, grass, and ground. It is, however, weak to fire, ice, flying, ghost, and dark. It does have a big stat total of 517. Uh, we have 70 HP, 131 physical attack, 100 physical defense, 86 special attack, 90 special defense, and 40 speed. So another very slow Pokemon, just like a lot of the Pokemon in Alola, but has an incredible, uh, uh, incredible couple of physical stats and some nice bulk everywhere else as well. So 131 physical attack is definitely going to be hitting hard in the competitive scene. Uh, looking at the moves this Pokemon gets, um, it gets Anchor Shot, gets Energy Ball. I think Anchor Shot's a really good move. It is Stab, obviously. Well, it's not Stab, but w with its ability, uh, is obviously a still type move. With its ability, it gets powered up anyway. Um, uh, and it's basically, that's just a lot like a Spirit Shackle. It, makes, it basically just tangles the opponent up, making it so they can't leave. Also gets Power Whip, um, Heavy Slam, Phantom Force, gets Slam. Uh, no Egg moves, but... Um, no, the ability still work are really coming in and clutch with uh, all the moves that this Pokemon learns. It gets quite a nice um, variety of 
TMs as well, gets like Earthquake, Solar Beam, Shadow Ball, Brick Break, Aerial Ace, uh, Energy Ball, Brutal Swing, Shadow Claw, Gyro Ball, Swords Dance, Rock Slide, uh, Flash Cannon, and Surf. Gets Surf as well, which is kind of crazy. Like, you can run this thing in a special way. It does have 86 special attack, which is still quite nice, but with 131 physical attack, like, that's, you know, you want to be taking advantage of that, and that's a really, really strong physical attack stat. And like I said, uh, getting moves such as, like, Anchor Shot, which are going to get powered up by its ability, also really cool to have. Uh, and this Pokemon's just good in general, you know what I mean? It's bulky, hits hard, might be slow, but hey, when you've got that much bulk and you can hit that hard, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, immune to two tappings as well and resist another four, being only weak to five. You know, it, it, it's working in um, uh, Delmise's favor. But that is all of the Pokemon um, for this uh, video, all of the new ghost type Pokemon. I feel, uh, from my st from my point of view, I think Mimikyu is the best just because of its amazing ability in disguise and the fact that it can do so many things with it and it can really just, you know, it can really get you out of a really difficult situation just being able to set up and like sweep a couple of months with him. But um, yeah, so I think, I think Mimikyu is the best. Obviously, a couple of you may disagree with me. I completely understand that. So if you do disagree with me, then, you know, leave your suggestion in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But uh, that does wrap up everything for this video. So if you did enjoy it, please smash that like button below. I really do appreciate it. Remember to subscribe if you are enjoying the content uh, and you are enjoying the series I do also really appreciate that I do have a couple other discussion videos like this going over a couple other types coming into a screen in a second so if you have got time please check them out um, and uh, yeah that is everything for this video guys so thanks again for watching have a glorious day and peace